You might hardly believe it, but some houses are being literally eaten up in Britain today. It's often due to that insidious little pest, the woodworm. The grubs tunnel away inside the timber, eating as they go, and later turn into little brown beetles, which come out through thousands of tiny holes. Some buildings which escape woodworm may still be attacked by dry rot, like this. Dry rot is a fungus which thrives on damp, and in its search for wood, it can penetrate brick walls and even stone. Once having found wood, it dries all the moisture out of it so that the wood is reduced to powder. Bad dry rot produces thick layers of fungus on the damp timber which will, if not removed quickly, destroy it. Today, both dry rot and woodworm can be eliminated by scientific treatment. We live in a world of pests, and this Sussex laboratory is one of the places where research is done into how to defeat them as well as prevent them. Here, woodworm grubs get a chance to have a really good go at a piece of wood, so that later their work can be closely studied by X-ray. Cockroaches too are given more than the once over, for they're still a common menace, especially to food, in steamy kitchens, ships and bakeries. And it's no fun being a flower beetle or a grain weevil. They too come under the research worker's spotlight. And after contact with the right insecticide, these grain weevils will no longer be a trouble to anything. But millions like them are a potential danger to crops, since grain is often stored in silos for many months after harvest and even all the year round. Many grain farmers today call in experienced pest control surveyors to examine the grain stocks regularly for the grain weevil is equipped with a sharp nose for boring into grains of wheat or rice. If weevils are found, war is made on them by a crew of trained operators who first thoroughly clean the building. Then all surfaces are sprayed with an insecticide which is death to weevils but doesn't taint the grain. Flower mills, too, can be a happy hunting ground for the grain weevil, for his cousin, the flower beetle, and for a small insect called the Mediterranean flower moth. To kill these pests, fumigation with methyl bromide gas is used. The doors and windows are sealed, and the gas, which is heavier than air, is pumped in from the top, so it can permeate through sacking, flower shoots, and into machinery. Weeds are a growing problem, and not just in the garden. They are an immense hazard everywhere, on road verges, airfields, factory sites, and even along the banks of canals, which they can completely block if they're not dealt with. Special herbicides are sprayed along canal banks to keep the weeds down. The farmer is worried more than most people by pests and the wood pigeon is not the least of them. Though farmers destroy the pigeons' nests regularly in summer and autumn, the numbers of pigeons goes up and up. Whole fields of kale and beet can be reduced to shreds by these greedy birds. Regular pigeon shoots held up and down the country help to reduce the numbers, but don't solve the problem. Pigeons in cities are another headache for the pest controller, however attractive they may be to the visitor. They perch, roost and nest literally in their thousands on all kinds of buildings, defacing and eroding the stonework, blocking gutters and causing heavy cleaning bills. After years of research, Scientists have found a surprisingly simple solution to the problem, designed to put off the most determined pigeon or starling. A narrow ribbon of soft, yielding plastic jelly is placed where the birds alight or perch, and this gives them a wobbly feeling as soon as their claws touch it, causing them to fly away and stay away. The repellent jelly, which lasts for two years, is harmless to birds, and a special powder is dusted on it to make sure they don't stick to it. Rats are one of Britain's worst pests. 
It's estimated the damage they do costs about 65 million pounds each year, and they spoil about 2 million tons of foodstuffs. Rats are still a serious problem in ships, which must have their holds dealt with by pest control experts before they sail on a long voyage. Liquid and grain baits are strategically placed in the holds. The grain baits last throughout the voyage without going mouldy. While they are aboard, the experts spray the holds and other parts of the ships with long-lasting insecticide which will get rid of all kinds of crawling insects such as cockroaches. Sewers have always been a home from home for the rat population, and local authorities carry on an unremitting war against them. Here at Bedford, quick-acting poison baits are placed in the sewers under the town. Usually, rat killers don't need to go into the sewers, but can put the poison in from above. In this way, a team can treat about 100 sewer entrances a day. was once a valuable commodity, but human changes of fashion have cast him aside, and now he's just a pest. He's the Koipu, first imported from South America about 1930 for his fur, known as Nutria, which was then very popular. But many of them dug their way out of the Koipu ranches, especially in Norfolk and Suffolk, where they've settled in the swampy areas, digging holes in the river and canal banks, which can cause them to collapse and flood the fields. Among the Koipu's favourite foods are sugar beet and mango wurzels, and in a field, it doesn't take him long to do serious damage. This is the headquarters of Koipu control at Norwich, for so serious has the problem become that the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food has now started a campaign to reduce the numbers of Koipu drastically. A report comes in that a Koipu has been seen in the area. Trappers immediately go to the spot, taking cage traps. These traps, which don't hurt the animals, are baited, usually with beet or mangle wurzels, and having placed them in position, the trappers go away. It's a very strong-minded Koipu who can resist his favourite food. And when the trappers return, he's waiting for them, in the cage. If he's fully grown, he's about two feet long, excluding his tail, and he weighs up to 20 pounds. About 100,000 Koipus were trapped in Britain in the last two years. In today's world of rapidly increasing population, pest control is an indispensable aid to survival. It's a fight in defense of property, food and health. A fight we can never afford to lose. <laughs> <laughs> 